Hello everyone, this is Tim the Holiday Show and uh, I just want to talk about uh, a company called, well, a retailer company, Kickscrew. I got a pair of Nike Air Force Ones, maroon, the red ones in size 12 of men's and uh, you know I, I just want to talk about and um, I seen a video like I was watching comparisons if it's real or fake their shoes and like some guy got a pair of shoes from Nike and then he ordered the same pair from Kickscrew and they take the prices off the box kick, kick screw because it's a retailing company place so but when he got them he showed the shoe compared to the one he got from Nike themselves and like the bottom of the shoe from the kick screw Nike shoes the squares were like slightly bigger on the bottom from the kick screw Nike shoes that he got from Kickscrew and then the ones from Nike who actually had smaller squares on the bottom of the sole um, but you know I'm not saying that the shoe was fake because I'm sure like I'm sure every shoe that you're gonna get is gonna have slightly different you know, you know, things about it, right? Each, each pair of the same shoe that you get is probably going to have, like, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, I'm not saying that the shoe was real either, right? But, kick screw, if you come across my video, and if you are getting fake shoes and make, and selling fake shoes, um, I just want to let you know that that's not cool because if that is the case, like, you know, I got a pair coming from Kickscrew and, uh, I'll be showing them and if they do come off as fake, which I doubt it. But you never know, right? You never know. Um, but I've, I've seen videos of people that are big shoe collectors and went to the, the actual warehouse of Kickscrew. And apparently it's legit. 100% legit. And that's always good to hear. But at the same time, you know, could they still be pretending that they're legit could they actually be pretending or are they legit because companies can do that sometimes and I'm hoping that's not the case with kickscrew um, now people that have been complaining that kickscrew their items take too their shoes take too long to arrive to their house well it's coming from Hong Kong what can you expect right and not only that, the only thing that I could say would be concerning about Kickscrew is they sell, they sell shoes from like all the way back from like 2020 or 2022. Like they still got some stocks of the, those shoes. So it's like, I don't know, you know, but at the same time, like Actual stores like Sportcheck probably still have shoes in stock that are from 2022. That's very possible. But, I don't know. I even messaged Nike on their website to ask them about Kickscrew. Because, you know what? Nike could not inform me about anything. Okay? Obviously. Because Kickscrew is, it's their company. How are you supposed to? Now, like I said, I'm hoping that the shoes I get are not fake. Because you know what? They were expensive. Like, 
three hundred bucks. So like, but yeah. What do you guys think? If you guys have ordered from Kick Screw, let me know what you guys think. But you know what? I just I watched the video and I, I apparently there is videos out there and there is because I've seen one of people going to their warehouse checking it out and I guess it's 100% legit that's what they said so but you know what exact you can't also believe everything you hear but I'm giving kick screw a chance now I have one complaint about kick screw when you message kick screw sometimes the only thing that is a little concerning is sometimes they take longer to respond, but at the same time, what can you expect from a retailing store, you know? But, um, and Kickscrew actually does watch people's reviews on their, off their YouTube channel, and not only that, but they upload shorts videos of people unboxing their shoes. So that also indicates to me that they are legit, okay? But, you know, and Kickscrew seems like the company, if you did get a fake shoe, I don't think they purposely did that. I think it would just be a mistake. You know what I mean? Like, no matter where you buy stuff from a retailing store, you could still get a fake, no matter what. But the good news is, Kickscrew does look over the shoes to make sure that they are real. And, you know, people that have went to their warehouse got to see everything, all the shoes on the shelves and everything, and they said it's legit, but you know so that's also another good sign but kickscrew also you know I've seen videos of kickscrew messaging back on people's videos of opinions and they say thanks for the support so that's also another good sign because there's people out there that will just try to run down a company just for something to do right just to do that right and it, it just it is what it is but like when a delivery from kick screw takes a while it's probably because it comes from Hong Kong that's literally why it takes forever now my tracking the only thing that was concerning for me about the tracking is I can look where my item is coming from okay and it shows where it was coming from and where it is now and I couldn't find like I couldn't see on the map of the tracking map where it was coming from but I mean I don't know could it's probably just my because my tracking app sometimes glitches so that could be the case probably but I don't know um, if kick screw if you see this video um, I just want you to know that if you guys do sell fake shoes, like, like, I'll never buy stuff from you guys again, because you know what, if that's the case, you know, not cool, and especially for how much you're paying for the shoes, like, now, I've also seen people's reviews, like, messaging comment reviews on their app and uh, some people said they got a pair of, like Air Jordan 1's or something of some sort like basketball shoes and they didn't last very long and they fell apart in a couple days but the Air Jordan 1's the problem with, that people don't understand as well is they're not stitched around the sole part either they're just like glued on and sometimes the glue certain glue that they use just doesn't hold together very well it happens plus every shoe has their own defect 
it is what it is. Um, but hopefully that the shoe that I'm getting is real. And I watched another video that is kind of concerning as well. I've seen another video of a pair of Air Jordan 1 basketball shoes. Air Jordan basketball shoes. And like the picture of Air Jordan doing this, like the logo of him doing the slam dunk. Well, like the logo is slightly higher on the kick screw one. The same logo on the Nike one was a little lower. And I don't know. Like, do they get these shoes? Like, where do they get their shoes? Like, that's where I I would like to know. Are they getting pairs that Nike has made, like, remade them? Like, because sometimes Nike brings back old shoes. And most of the time, there's usually a little bit of a difference in the newer one. In the newer model for a Nike shoe that was around in like the 90s. And sometimes they bring shoes back. They've done it this year and they've done it a couple years ago. And I'm sure the, the stitching and everything, everything was done over a little bit differently. So that could also be a reason why you get a shoe from Kickscrew. And it looks slightly different, but at the same time, not very much different. Like, like... For the most part, I've only seen two videos of Air Jordans that looked, like, barely noticeable. Like, like, 90% real. Like, there was just so many things good about the, the way it was done. But, yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in another video.